minus x then i will go to the rightmost b mark it as y okay and again i will go come back i will go back if i hit any x or b okay then i will try to search for what i will search for whether i have all, uh, any extra b or not if it is not there then i can accept it understood so just by the tape movement how will i remember that i have equal number of a's and b's a's and b's first i write uh, first i take the leftmost a mark it as x move the tape uh, tape head to the rightmost thing okay if it is not b means uh, if it is not b then i will uh, simply re re i can reject that string because suppose if it is a b a then it should be rejected because it does not belongs to a to the power n b to the power n okay so so every time i take the leftmost a mark it as x take the rightmost b mark it as y then move uh, then again take the leftmost a mark it as x so this procedure continues till i do not have a single a or b if i have a single a or b then i should reject the string if i do not have a a or b i should accept the string any doubt no sir no sir okay so then how will you draw this tell me so i am in state q0 so let me draw this thing go to a new place base color is black okay so i am in starting state q0 suppose okay on reading a i am writing x and moving towards right and the state machine i can say that it should go to a new state q1 okay so so what i am doing i am uh, i am first writing x then i am going to the rightmost thing okay so the rightmost thing i can uh, say that uh, so how will you represent a rightmost uh, b so you can represent a rightmost b that either the input head may uh, so if it is b okay then you should how will you write that so for so with a the state machine should move to the right uh, uh, right x and move to the right now now let us make it in another way so suppose uh, suppose i uh, make my algorithm like this so take leftmost a let me write it down in words then we'll uh, so take leftmost a and right x to it the second thing is then take the rightmost b and 
right y to it and move left so i can say just a second i can say that so with q1 if i am getting a a okay because uh, because what i am doing i am uh, i am just uh, written leftmost a so if i am moving towards right i will encounter another a also here okay while going through the rightmost b i will encounter a as well as b okay so if i am getting a a then what will happen then i should not touch anything it that means I, the cell content should not be changed and i should move towards right and another thing is i have to go to the rightmost right most b so if i have a b i should write y and move towards left so what i am doing so so i i wrote x then i go till here okay so here what i did but so i to replace the first by with y so so let us let us change the algorithm then then uh, take the leftmost b then so if i if i take the leftmost b and then move towards left then again i will take the leftmost a i will mark it as x and move towards right then the leftmost b and move towards left so in this way i proceed then what will happen so uh, first a it will be written as x and move towards right then in the state q1 any a we encounter we replace it as we do not do anything and move towards right so the first b i encounter okay what will happen so the first b i encounter i will mark it as y and move towards left okay understood then i'll go to a new state q2 okay now in q2 what will happen now q2 q2 represents i have already marked equal number of x and y that means i have already marked a and b and i am now searching for the next occurrence of a q2 represents that so while moving uh, so while doing that i i can okay so while doing that i can say that um, with q2 if i found another a what what i should do i should go to the leftmost a so i should not do anything and move towards left okay and if i found y what it will what i i should do because while moving towards left i may find y or i may find a or i may find x okay if i find x what does this mean this means i have the leftmost a present just towards its right any doubt let us take a big string a uh, larger string that will be good for everyone b b b b okay so what my algorithm is first i uh, i take the leftmost a i write it as x move towards right till i hit the first b okay so 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 while traversing towards right what i may encounter i will encounter for a okay so so for those a's i should not do anything and move towards right till i find a b okay now for b what i should do i should write it as y and move towards left okay now what will happen now while moving towards left i again may encounter a okay in that case i have to go towards left 
to get the leftmost a now my leftmost a is now this one so but i cannot know so so till i hit a x i am ensured that okay the next symbol a will be my leftmost a understood so so for this thing that is with x i should not write anything and move towards right 